2021 yo and uh we got some things that we want to get into so um we got a new queen up in the building yes. all right sis is going to introduce her but first let's uh let's introduce Make her with our little song real quick here we go six mm. seven and we got jazz, jazz up, up in, in the, the building, building. Say, say what's up hey we got sis up in the building say, say what's up hey we got lee up in the building say, say what's up hey we got sammy up in the building say what's up hey we got key up in the building say what's up hey all right so for the people who are listening who is key sis who is so who is key, key. Who is Key? Who is Key? Who is Key? So Key is my cousin, but she's like she's like my fucking sister, but she's my cousin Her. and um she been here for what? Two weeks, got goddamn. Fuck, lost, lost count. Almost two weeks. This is her first time uh, visiting me out here. So we, uh, Key, where are you? We, we had a oh, ball. She, to the okay, she's do visiting from um from Jacksonville. Okay, Jacksonville, Florida. Duval. You know, Duval. wait, no. Okay, yeah, so when we, because so when I, we went I out, met Key. I met Key. Oh, when I lived in DC. Yeah. Yes, I met Key right. once when we were on right. tour. Yeah, we all went out. Um, but that was when she was living in yeah, DC. Yeah, she, she oh, okay. In DC. See, that's why I said we got DC in the building. But uh, yeah. now we don't got DC. Ooh. She did. Yeah, she okay. did. You lived there for a minute. Yeah, yeah, you lived there for a minute. So why did you move? Work, work. Okay, mm -hmm. you know. Uh huh. Took me back down there. DC or Florida? Florida before. Yeah, she was in Florida. Come on, Florida. I'm trying to move to Houston. Period. Yeah, manifest Ooh, Houston 2021. Period. For real? What's in Houston? Houston is lit. Yeah, Houston is the one. Houston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's okay. been. She's been. But you know what? It may happen because I don't have no kids, so I can oh. go anywhere I want to go. Yeah, period. They got nothing holding take me my back. Work with me. Right. All right. <laughs> nothing holds me back. Okay. Me back. Yeah, but you know what? Because where? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. I thought someone tried to tell me how to live my life. Oh, period. Right. It wasn't no damn. I already know. Key, are you a dancer? No, I'm, a, I'm the person. I'm the person that is in the corner of the party, and you just kind of like looking. Vibing. So what Vibing. you be? So what you be doing with her? What right. do y'all even do? I just look. The other day when we went to this, uh, the recording for um, Nicole's the video they were recording. Oh yeah, it, right. I was in the room, and I think this was like the first time I realized I was in an environment where I was the oddball. So I'm <laughs> sitting there on the couch, and everyone's like, even when they're by themselves, someone's doing Everybody, something with their yeah. feet. Someone's right. like mm -hmm. always doing Dancing, something. She's yeah. like, damn it, I can't. Catch and I'm it. just kind of like <laughs> sitting there, and then this guy comes in, and he teaches these group of guys like this step, and they all caught on really yeah. fast. And I was just like, damn, I can't even get TikTok videos. Oh right. <laughs> I felt that the same, same. I played her I the full video. Get the challenges. Right. I played her the full video, and she was like, "They just learned that that night," and I was like, "Yeah." yeah so she was like, cute. "Is that normal?" Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." There is something, not something wrong. There's something special about our brains. It is. It's, it's where we can catch thing, on though. so you guys are fast. Critical thinkers. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, on your resume, like strong. Oh, I don't even know if it's our brain. Skills. I think it's just our body. I don't know. I think so many things at one time. Like, yeah. Think about all the things that are going on in you all's head. You're like a step, a move, a, a tune, a beat. Right. Yourself. That didn't even resonate. Right. It's like another it's a level steps. of self awareness. It's a, yeah. It's the step. No, it really is. But people need to realize that um, it's 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 a muscle in your brain. So if you're not if you're not constantly exercising this muscle in your brain to retain choreography or to retain mm -hmm. movements, and your body is not used to doing all that. All that your shit. body's right. not used to doing that. That's not fucking normal. Your right. body is like not what limp, but. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Down straight with oh, it. That's why you have to train. Yeah, that's, that's me. Why I'm so, that's me. so don't feel bad if you can't retain no choreo. Shit, sometimes um, I can't. I can't right. either. I be looking at the TikTok. Like, I can't retain. Why well, can't get that? Uh, well, Y'all be fast with your been a minute. Uh, it's been a uh, minute. Baby, baby what the fuck? <laughs> Sammy and Yay be in there. I'll be a I'll be looking. That's, that's the training. That's Bro, the training for being a dancer right now. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I, I go to y'all page that. and I'm trying to see the new dance trend. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what do I need to do? Let me go to me. Sammy and Yay page. Okay. Because yeah, I'm oh, like, okay. okay, what do we do? Go that's Sammy and Yay. Sammy and Yay, your show, please. please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, um, yeah. How was, okay, so since this is our, tech, okay, for the people who are watching and listening, we did have, yeah, technically, this is our second episode. We got some technical difficulties difficulties from the first episode. But for real. So technically, this is our second one. So, but let's catch up. Sorry about that. How was our New Year's? Oh, I hate all our faces. 
because we all didn't do we that. Had, shit. I can't remember anything past 10 30 p.m. that night. <gasps> oh, oh, I you had a great time. Shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sis, you got lit. lit. Me and my mom we were that's a good time on another planet out of this fucking world. Yeah, we don't remember anything after ten thirty. Oh. I don't really remember celebrating New Year's. You got video proof? Yes. Okay. So so it happened. Great. That's great. Um, in the in the call, she told she explained to me and my mom what happened throughout the night. Oh, so, that's so fun. we can visually see it. Oh. but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. We I just spent time with family. Honestly, it was one of the best New Years I've had. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It was one of the best. I there was something about being in the house, like. That, not yeah, having, I feel that. Not having to worry about shit. No like, parties, we just, no yeah. different people. It was like just it's family, just you and, alcohol, mm-hmm. food, like music. We're just fucking acting crazy, and I didn't have to think about anything. Like even my my brother and sister, like my uh, my mom, like let them smoke at the house. Just so she, everybody could do whatever they wanted. Mm-hmm. Just don't leave the house. And it right, was cool. right, right. Yeah, it was that. it was really cool. It was really tight. It'd be the best nights. So Jazz, was cool. I didn't do shit. I got ready for ten minutes. Said Happy New Year and went the fuck back home. <laughs> I swear to God, I was like, this is so oh. musty. Get me the fuck up out of here. I put on a double you mask. Somewhere, These so dirty somewhere. bitches. Yeah, I was in. Oh, yeah, you were oh, at that booty sweat place. The, yes. Booty yes. Sweat. I was literally Wait, in the bed. And then one of my <laughs> friends was like, let's go be in the streets. Like, fuck it. And I was like, all right. Sounds nice. Like, it sounded Spontaneous. real cute in the nice moment. We got ready in 20 minutes. I walked in. I said, this is so musty. Like, dusty, crabby, patty, gonk. <laughs> fuck. I don't even know what the fuck. That shit was so dirty. So dusty. Like, I literally she felt like my throat was going to hurt. Many- we don't have to say how many people were there because it was probably no it was so dirty the place was illegal it wasn't even supposed yeah, to be yeah I was oh. just about to say yeah they sure. were like cause when I walked up I was like where the fuck is this like I hear sound but it literally looked like no nothing we were being escorted through I said oh my god this is so jail worthy that's trap. a movie shit so jail worthy and then I was like people are just so willingly out here and I was like oh my god I got dragged here and I was like oh my god happy new year with my motherfucking surgical mask on I was like let's go mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fucking dirty mm. I went home did a little uh I almost said hot dog. Um, hot chocolate. <laughs> that little hot Why dog. Why am I thinking about hot dogs? She hungry. She hungry. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Let me stop. Um, made a little hot chocolate bomb and went the fuck to sleep. Right. I woke up like, oh, that was so musty. <laughs> So I, I, at least it was lively though like no I, when i tell you them scrippers need to go back need to learn from p valley or something that shit was so where p did valley. you find them hey i don't know where they found them they gotta make their coin it was booty right it was booty Damn. i mean I, I will say i wouldn't i i wouldn't have minded like going somewhere just for a little entertainment and yeah. then hit it real quick it was 15 like minutes. Hit it. yeah Literally. that's cute yeah. what did you do wham uh we were in the santa monica Okay, that shit was close as hell, but we were like just this. like we got lit in the car. Then we stepped out. And we were like, "Holy shit, what the fuck?" <laughs> we, uh-huh. we couldn't find our damn balance. Oh shit! Oh, oh you so was what real, you, you took? Was lit, lit. No, no, no. Just lit, like lit, lit. Shot it to, you know what I'm saying? So oh, I so did that. Lit. Yeah, you guys were lit. We got lit, and then we rode fucking scooters. Oh, down that's the right. I did see that. that I shit did was see that. Fun as hell. That is cold. fun. My that face was frozen. Cold. Bitch. Yeah, that's yeah. mm-hmm. so fun though. Then we ran into because there's no music. Everything was closed, but then there was these people partying in the street. So I was like, Oh my god, we oh, found the music and they were playing Spanish music. So I was like, That's my shit. Oh, yeah, go, of course. Party I was like, I found it. So we partied for a little bit, like an hour, and then the cops came. They're like, Hey, you ain't supposed to be here. And I'm like, Okay, bye. And then we just kissed on New Year's. Okay. Had a little grape champagne. Yeah, okay. Then cute. we just waited on the beach till we sobered up and got back That's home. so fun. I love that. That yeah. is fun. Yeah, I would do she some shit like that. Cute. I mm. like that. Key? You guys were on a totally different page for me. So, <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> I was so sad on New oh. Year's at midnight. I was sad but happy. Were you because, by yourself? Well, I was by myself but by choice, right? Okay, period. But... New Year's is one of those holidays for me that comes close to my birthday. You know, like everybody has that mm-hmm. holiday. For mm-hmm. me, yeah. that's New Year's. Okay. And I think I was just like so overwhelmed by the year and I was mm-hmm. so anxiously mm-hmm. looking forward to just knowing that 2020 was like done. Over. Done. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you have some people that say like, oh yeah, it doesn't like, oh, it's not a, that big of a deal. Like it's just another day. Bitch, that was yeah. Traumatic. And that's, that's. That's true. It can be if mm-hmm. that's your perspective on it. But for me, like I have a completely different perspective on like the significance of a new year. And mm. I was just I really that. overwhelmed mm. by everything that had transpired mm. in 2020 mm. and the people that I had to stop talking to and mm. the decisions that I knew I was about to have to start making. 
and making sure that I didn't repeat any of the same patterns that wow. I just went through. So it was really overwhelming for me. Wow. And so when I was watching the countdown mm-hmm. and like they did the one, I just remember like sitting on my bed and I was just like, it's like I was waiting to exhale to all of 2020. Oh, I, I, I had I just been that. waiting mm-hmm. to exhale. Wow. And then I finally had that moment where I was just like, okay, oh, you wow. know what I mean? And then I smoked the that is blunt. Period. <laughs> Period. I went Period. to sleep Ooh. and I woke up that next morning enlightened. Brand new. You feel yeah. refreshed? Wow. No, I love that. Okay. I like yeah. that story. I really do like oh, that. Yeah. I, I wish yeah. I did mine differently now. Me yeah. too. Let me go back and exhale. <laughs> <I'm> I was... <laughs> Shit, I was like waiting for that. <laughs> you never read that. I wasn't I needed reading it. So bad. I feel that. No, I for us, we went. Um, I've been on my hiking thing. Like right. I go hiking every single week. So Tally and I decided to start our new year with a hike, mm. and then we meditated on top of the um on top of the uh mountain the mount like the when the you hill. get to the top yeah on top of the hill whatever. <laughs> We meditated, and for the first time, I was able to, like, really just soak in the sun. Like, I was on my Zuri shit. Like, mm, I yes. was like, because, you know, I'm not, I, yes, I'm spiritual, and I know the importance of Listen. meditating, but I just can't do it yet. I can't, I don't know if I'm ready for it. I can't keep my like eyes closed master. for, mm. yeah, and, like, I I understand the concept of emptying your your mind, but then I don't. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do mm, that, so. Difficult. Yeah, it's, it's difficult. difficult. So to help with that for anybody who's, you know, who kind of deals with the same thing, I'm paying attention to what it is that I smell. I'm paying attention mm-hmm. to whatever it is that I feel. Your In this senses. case, I was feeling the sun. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was paying attention to my breath. Like, how long can I hold it? How long do yeah. I let it out? Like, it was really, really nice. And then we went home, did our thing, watched a couple shows. And then we had this thing called like 2020 confession where we were like confessing things that we were feeling that maybe feel uncomfortable to say out loud and say to each other like about our relationship. Because I think I think last year was probably the first year that Tally and I went through. No, that wasn't the first year. My bad. It's probably the (laughs) second year we've we, we approached our second like. Muscle. Breakthrough, Muscle. breakthrough. Yeah. It was a That's breakthrough. Was. Yeah. Yes, it was a breakthrough where mm. it was some hard as fucking times. It was something that I had to cope with. I told y'all about it yeah. a little bit. Um, so we were like confessing things, and then for me, like I, this was the first year that we that I didn't dance as much as I usually yeah, do. Right. So I'm like, damn, like, do we keep dancing? because that's why people follow me and that's why I have what I have because of my dance shit. Yeah. And if I stop, do I lose everything? Am I, do I become irrelevant now because I'm not dancing and QNL? Mm. Like I haven't posted anything on Queens and Lettles in a long time because I have nothing, nothing. to post. Yeah. But I mean, I can go back and get old videos, but who wants to fucking do that? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just all about the new. Right. Okay. Right. But I'm like, do I go into different lanes, but I'm not really as good as I am dancing with those lanes. So is there even a point? Like there was just so much, so Mm -hmm. the overwhelming sense of it, I kind of feel that. um, And I think that's normal. And then at that same instance, it's like, I don't want to put that, all that pressure on myself just because it's a new year. Like a year is a long time. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? So it's like, just just think about it. I feel better than I'm actually thinking about it. And I'm admitting all of these Mm -hmm. things to myself. Like I'm being true to myself. I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, new year, new me and all that. Like, no, just. Take it easy. Right. Take a breath. Be confess, present. whatever. We went up to the roof. I was off with the fucking countdown shit. Oops. Um, I was still counting when it was 12 on 1. <laughs> <laughs> Aaliyah Janelle. <laughs> Aaliyah said 10. We Aaliyah, that's true though. Year. A year, a year is a long time. And a lot can happen. A, a lot year. can a lot happen. happen. So yeah. much can happen. can happen. And welcome that. Don't be in a race. Once no. when you're in a race with yourself and with other people, it takes the fun out of it. It yep. takes the the wonder out of it. It takes yeah. the, the journey out of it. You, don't enjoy you know what it. I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So I just wanted to make sure that I was like, I gave my cre- I gave myself credit for all of the things that I did start, all right. of the different lanes that I tapped into. I definitely want like more passion behind these things because I feel like in 2020, I started this podcast and uh, 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 a clothing line and like just different shit, music. I'm tapping into that. Right. But I wasn't my heart, my like everything wasn't in it because I'm still at Queens and Lettos. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, well, I can't do Queens and Leto, so let's just do all this Put other shit else. just to do yeah. something. You know what yeah. I mean? But I didn't have the energy behind it. But now that's what one of my goals is, is to like now find the love in it. The fa- the love that you have in dance, 
find that shit in other things because you are meant for more. Yeah. I think we are in this yeah. room. We're all meant for more. Like, yes, we identify as dancers, but we know that we could be more than that. Triple threat. Just don't put yeah. yourself in, in a, a box. box. That's yep. my model. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, you're good at something, but you can be good at so many things. Be People good have this yeah. uh, confusion where you're just one thing and then they put your ass in a box and then it's like when you do something else, they get mad. And I'm like, why are you mad? I'm mm-hmm. not That's what box, I was scared like, of too. Yeah. No, yeah. passion is not one dimensional. Right. Like, yeah. it is not just one thing for you to mm-hmm. live your entire life. Mm-hmm. You can expand. People will... Some of you are sleeping on skills and talents that can make you a millionaire. millionaire. Period. Boom. Yep. Period. Do you guys have any um, passions about things that if someone knew that you were really passionate about it, it would probably catch them off guard? Yes. yes. Ooh. Like what? I'm going to yeah. tell you why I ask. Okay. So I really like to upholster furniture. Really? I like to do DIYs on like furniture that people are throwing away. Let me get away. your number. Oh, yeah. Wow. Like, wow. <laughs> and a lot of the things in my apartment like are DIYs, but it's probably something wow. that like I bought or Do it I made yourself it. for people who so don't. So people are always mm-hmm. like, oh, where'd you get this? And I'm like, oh, I made it. <laughs> I, right? I knew there was one person, bitch. And <laughs> that's that why was, I have to say it. That was one of the things I wanted to tap into this year was my creativity. Wow. Because I do these things. I document these things. She tells me I have an eye of a... What have you been telling me since I've been here? I have... I just have... Like, oh, I just know. And... What did I say? Because I don't post like on my social media or anything. It's like People I just never have know. these creative pictures or these like videos. Mm. And I just kind of like just... They're just on my phone. Oh, you know? I said she has an, an an eye of like an influencer or like somebody who somebody like of, a creator. Yeah, like an influence where you know you have to worry about what pictures you take, how mm. you take them, what the lighting's like. Like mm-hmm. she has the that, things that she, she does it naturally. About, yeah, the things that she thinks about. I'm like that shit that I think about. She's said so many things this trip, and I'm like that shit that I be thinking about because I have to because it's my job. But right, right. right. Just, yeah, like, but you do that naturally. Yeah, but yeah. I don't put it out there. Right. And so it's so funny because we were taking some pictures yesterday and I was telling her, like I have zero posts on my Instagram right yeah, now. She looks like so a I was telling her like, oh, I'm going to make a post. Uh-huh. So nice. I ended up changing my profile picture. And for me, that was like enough. Right, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so my thing is I'm that's it. That's all you get. I have been, we have been taking pictures for forty five minutes for you to change the profile. I'm trying to What's get a poster. No, let me. So I don't because I don't want to keep talking. I'm trying to get to the point where like I'm comfortable, like tapping into a different passion of mine, like a different level of creativity, but also being. Um, okay with putting it out there oh, like on a platform where like so many people mm-hmm. can I get that can just Have see it and that. it's not it's that vulnerable. I don't care about the judgment it's just wanting to put it out there. it's so intimate right. to me yeah. it's not mm. just Your, this yeah. 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 it's vulnerable yeah. it's a different side of yeah. you yeah. and yeah. so that's why I, sometimes I don't think people understand like I why like. I am the way that I am with it but that's just something that I'm gonna work on right you know, like, do I really wanna share what's close like to this me? right here yeah. for is me big. Is this huge. is huge that's why I was like wow yeah, this is like way out of my comfort zone yeah I love that way out of my comfort zone yeah thanks for stepping out first one down okay and it's in January you're doing so good and i came over here right i told her i said maybe this is like the perfect time to come to la i mean so clearly good. not the perfect time but, but you know but just 12 million cases just and i want to and i and yeah. i want to figure out a way to where when you go back home and you don't have her and you don't mm-hmm. have maybe people that you feel safe with because i feel like you feel safe with her yeah, and with I've us like, so dude, how can we so many people right so how can we continue that when you go back Facts. home like that's that's the thing it's like yes you went through this breakthrough but how can we and i hope that you feel good with it you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like it may feel a little uncomfortable, but uh, but there should be a sense of like, damn, I'm I'm doing it, I'm doing, I'm doing, doing it. it. Yeah. So when you go back home, how can we keep that going? That momentum. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. um, I don't know. I don't. I, I guess that's a hypothetical question, but I mean, that's the ultimate goal for like for you to continue to feel uncomfortable and to continue mm-hmm. mo- have multiple breakthroughs right. because you are meant for so much, and the fact that you have that that uh that creative like. Mentality, yeah, that mentality yeah. already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's run some money to be made, right? Run yeah. with that shit because you don't even know. Tap into the coin. Tap so into real. the coin. Okay. Yeah, for open real. that opportunity. Yeah, oh, open yeah. that door for like more to come. Absolutely. That's really dope, Key. Yeah. Yes. yes, I'm proud of me. Yeah, yes. come on, bitch. Yes. Yeah. yeah, see, uncomfortability is growth. That's what I always say. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but answer that question, y'all. What is something that you are passionate about that would? Something that you're passionate about that would um that would catch, catch people, people off guard. Some, yeah, something that like they would have no idea you were even interested in. I mean, I think people are learning it now because I've like shared like the more like school side of me and like 
going to school to be a therapist and all that, but I've Ooh, always yeah. been into just tapping into like my communications degree. I want to be a marriage and family therapist, want my master's and all that. Mm-hmm. But I've been wanting to do that since I was 10. Mm. So, wow. Yeah, I'm, but I'm like super into politics too. I think that, well, I mean, I guess that's not a secret anymore either, but for a while I really wanted to be a lawyer. Like I get really wow. into debating, like I think really deep into those things. And I like to think of different sides, but I'm also going to like smash you in your dreams because you cannot out debate me. Ooh. <laughs> It's like it's like a weird thing inside of me. Like I like oh, you will get the just last like, yeah, yo. He but it, but it's not even he that do. I want to get the last word because if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, mm. and I could take that L. Like okay, mm. you got me, but then it's like you ain't gonna get me twice, bitch. No, I'm, I'm gonna come back. So you debate to be right, or do you debate to change mm. an influence? Or yes, I debate to change an influence because if I'm wrong, like I said, I'll take that L, right. and now I learned, and I'm grateful for that. But if I am right, you gonna hear me. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm not a lawyer because I right. will motherfucker. Your Honor, stop, stop because you're not listening. I know that's I got the a law, point. but the, the law, no, me listen. <laughs> I'm gonna get mad. I got a point to prove. Oh, I'm on the AC. <laughs> no, I get really like into it. Yeah, just mm-hmm. that side of me, like. Obviously, I'm like a crackhead. You get like, really passionate, passionate about passionate. this point of view. Yeah. I get so passionate about yeah. all like <laughs> feelings and. Politics and you know the goal that. is for the person that you are talking to is to understand. Absorb my what brother you is said. facetiming me. Ooh, he probably mm-hmm. asked for some you money. You want to answer? No, he's gonna be like, "Can I have ten dollars?" Right. Do it. Let's see. Let's see. God. Don't say nothing stupid. Oh my God, you were on the air. What's up? <laughs> oh, are you okay? Okay, period. Bye. Right. Oh, I was scared. Oh. Damn, I wanted him to ask for money. I know. <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to be like, let me tell you about what oh, happened this yeah. time. And I'm right. like, Arr! because the last time she answered her phone call, it was like, your iCloud account has <laughs> been. <laughs> and I said, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it always happens that to Jazz. Dumb. Jazz has to answer every single like, motherfucking phone call. Yeah, I was like, uh uh-uh, uh, uh, you could have emailed me. Don't put me on blast like that. Shit. Whammy, what are you passionate about that people would be taken off guard? Piano. Wow. Whoa. Shut up. I love the piano. It's so relaxing. It's therapeutic for me. Like you play? Yeah, I play. Bitch, take this keyboard. Rashad, that-, stop. that was a valid question. I didn't know she just like listened. Yo, <laughs> stupid. I didn't I'm know. serious. I got fucking I Tally it. a keyboard for his birthday see, two years ago, and it hasn't it. been touched. Please take it. <laughs> Me oh. too. Please take it. <laughs> so bad it is just collecting touched. dust in his motherfucking room. Like, are you gonna play me something, sir? <laughs> Do you even know how to play? <laughs> you little melody, right. real quick. Ding, 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 ding. ding Everybody know happy ding. birthday. Oh, right. Wait, girl, girl. please take this. Take the keyboard. It's a Yamaha. A, it's a Yamaha. Oh, I love them. No, yeah, but I shit. love playing piano. Me and wow. Tali actually spoke about it, but mm-hmm. he hasn't played it. Huh? No, okay. absolutely not. Taking his time. Damn. Take Damn. It. Damn. Blessed and not playing. That piano. is very interesting. Piano. That is very interesting. No. I love hmm. me some music. I mean, I would say working out is my fucking other passion. But right, right. Yeah. My friends. Yeah, I already. wish I could be passionate about that. I love that shit. Working out. That shit is <laughs> nice. She'll be waking up at 6.30 every single morning. No, not not even 6.30. You'll be there at 6.30. 30. You'll be Get waking there. up at yeah. 5. Four, yeah, yeah, three, yeah. two, bye. Wait, 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 don't wait. sleep. Okay. Don't sleep. We need to get like some beauty sleep because yeah, yeah. Dang, the Chanel bad. bags. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Chanel, Chanel bags be kicking. Bag. Look, you. Yeah. if you have something, make it make it fabulous. Right. Okay. <laughs> if you have something, make it high end. Mm. Okay. It's a flaw, but it's a designer flaw. <laughs> Uh, I can uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can pinpoint something that I am actually passionate mm. about that will take people off guard. Hmm. Yeah, that's a hard one. Do you have one, sis? I don't know. Eating. I mean, other she's than passionate about eating, she takes her food very serious. Oh, she already got you. <laughs> she's not picky though. Mm. No, I'm not. I don't know what. I would say the only thing that I'm passionate about is just what I went to school for, which is criminal, criminal. Yeah, criminal law, criminal justice. Um. I've always been passionate about it. Like, always wanted to work uh, for the FBI. Um, it's just been something that I was hella passionate about. But I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily passionate about it now. Like, it was just kind of a thing a of the past that I did before, you know, like, dance took off. But I would still, and I would still like, go back and, and study more of it or take the job if I needed to, whatever the case may be. But yeah. I don't know. I don't think I'm... Yeah. Hmm. There's good. definitely things that I'm interested in, we, but I think that can be a goal for all of me. us is 
I Wait, think that can. Huh. You're passionate about coffee, bitch. She be finding yeah. new places I'm every fucking, fucking day. Crying. She no, said, "I got a new." Place. No, yeah, she so she loves. But we got the one coffees thing that, right here. Right, the one thing which <laughs> I need to start on. The one thing that I can actually say <laughs> is, um, <laughs> Rashad, I would say hiking. Is hiking. Yeah. Yes. Hiking. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that took people off guard, but I, I mean, I'm doing it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it kind of like hiking. already shows. But yeah, there's something about being in nature, mm-hmm. but not even just like just saying it. Like yeah, being nature. But it's like calling me. Oh my god, it's my boss from my old job <laughs> you want to answer no he finna say you want to come back i left his ass on red <laughs> he said merry <laughs> christmas do you want your job back go Maybe. ahead bitch answer it hurry up hello. be quiet everybody hello hello hey how are you good how are you good i just need to call you real quick it won't take long i'll get back to how to address your uh regulated schedule programming at any time um I just want to see if you're still interested in coming back to the club at some point in the future. I have to call everybody to see if they're still interested or if they've already moved on. Okay, give me two seconds. Can I give you a call back in like an hour because I'm about to walk in to film a podcast and then I can talk everything through with you. Okay, I mean, if you're, if, if you're still even like slightly interested, like we don't have to go through any details. We can just keep you on the roster and worry about that whenever we decide about bringing you back because it won't be like, it's not like if I see you say yes, I'm like, okay, cool, we can bring you on. It's just like, I just need to send an updated list of who's still on my roster that has moved on or who's Okay, we can go through details later. It's not a for sure yes. I just need consistency. So I guess if it's going to happen later on, then we can talk about it when it comes. So don't yeah. exile me, but we'll just go from there in the future. Okay. That's, that's all it really was. It's just, should I X you out? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Sam. <laughs> Bye. Get the fuck. If you still want to say hi, come back in not- time. Ah! Rashad, you got a napkin. First of all, <laughs> he is not taking no for an Wait, answer. Wait, that's, that's the gym jazz? Yes, don't nobody no want to be there? No equipment was damaged. I was just going to Yeah, no equipment was damaged. It was on my yeah, little socky. My phone say, hit it. I was just going to say no, bitch. I don't want to go. That's why I left him on red. Oh, my God. Mm. We're filming. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, do you all forget that we're on camera sometimes? I think I'm just so used to having a camera on us 24 7 and people like, how do you not know that you said that? Or like, because I forget, like, I'm looking at Yeah, because we're actually really, yeah, I'm looking at y'all. It's real. I zone out and I say some dumb ass shit and you're like, God. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, I don't care. Like, I did leave him on red. And I be going to the, I be seeing Sammy. I still go up in there and work out. Yeah. Oh my God. Wait, but I didn't know you stopped working there. Yeah. Bye bye. Oh, cool. Good. Good. That's good news. Yeah. That's good news. It was holding me back. It's like, right. why right. am I sitting Yeah, so that's why I was telling me. you no. Right. But I mean, I get it. Think about all of, think about all, think about everything from a wide perspective yeah. so you don't fuck yourself Just up. Just a door open in case like my shit gets totally booty fucked up. But it's right. like, if I'm making it and I'm doing what I need to do right, right. now, like why go back to a company? Exactly. Why go back to something that's comfortable? Exactly. Be okay with pushing myself and opening new things because I'm spending eight hours there. Like, right. it's like, have a good workout. Have exactly. A good workout. Exactly. Uh, Not doing shit. So Thank you. Yeah. It's like routine over. And it's just like, yeah, I'm, no, I didn't take it seriously. That shit was such a it. joke to me. Like, I'm over here hiding in cabinets, seeing how I can prank. And people. I think everybody, I think everybody, I think <laughs> most people, most people fucking deal with that shit. Rashad is just so tickled by you, Jazz. Yep. So Y'all don't remember? I really <laughs> hid in a cabinet and was like, you let me see how long it takes for my there, boss bitch. to yeah, find me. I'm filming myself in the cabinet, cabinet on the clock. He's yeah, like, she do not Jasmine? need to be there. She I would go on her story. She'd be like, shit. The yeah, she would be like, catch me. <laughs> yeah, in the <laughs> cabinet, like a child. <laughs> like a <laughs> man. What the fuck else am I supposed to do? We are on goddamn quarantine. They're upstairs working now. We ain't got nothing to do. I'm finna send these cabinet. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Jess? Ha, ha. No, you should no. You need to be like, hello, sir. Good morning. No. Have a good. You want a towel, big or small? Okay, oh. just put in your phone number. They complained about me <laughs> in the morning. Customer service. They yeah, did because great. they said, "Where's the you other boy that comes back in the morning? He gone." So it's, <laughs> it's me, me, and I don't speak till eight a.m. And what the fuck you need to speak about? Because you're going to work out. Hello. What was that? They told me when their fucking shit is job. canceled, and you still let them through, and then they be complaining. And then they be mad. I'm 
like, bitch, you are in $200 worth of debt. And I'm you saying, know? go upstairs anyway. I'm not in the mood to talk. Go Bye. get the workout on. I could have stopped your ass and been care. like, you owe me $200. Or, no, no, no. When they come in for that <laughs> you class. You owe me $200. <laughs> when they come in for that class, and then this shit's canceled. Be like, why didn't you call me? Bitch, Look, I'm not going to search through Global Karen, Karen. to see if you may. How, are you going to potentially take this motherfucking class because it's canceled? That's a, that it's a whole gym through. that you could still utilize, ma'am. Right. You better get you and one and two. two. You know the combo from last week? <laughs> Do it. Do it yourself. Run it through. I need to go. Right. We need to go. We need to go. Fired. We need to go. Like, Moving on. Don't come back. Oh. <laughs> right. I, I actually I heard saw the podcast. I, um, Aliyah Jan- Janelle has Aliyah. a podcast that you're in. Aliyah. Yeah. Aliyah. That's the Key and Peel version. And, okay. then, and right. I think you should just stay your ass where the fuck it's you at. <laughs> <laughs> struggle over there and i bitch. actually don't appreciate that you answered you my phone call <laughs> hey block his name can you just put like a beep when yeah, they yeah, say yeah yeah block his name uh rashad like a <laughs> that's for production like, anyway I, we're moving so on ready. i'm sorry um, I'm the next sweaty. question could you say if you were if you were with someone and you found out that they were addicted to porn could you stay in the in the relationship yeah yeah. You could? Yeah. yeah. Cause same. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Cause, uh, <laughs> you don't even want to think about it, Jazz? No, because that to me doesn't it bother me. Me either. You're just watching, po- like, do what you want to do. Addicted, not like, yeah, or enjoy. Yeah. Addicted. Yeah, you're, missing, you're, mi- <laughs> you're missing the key addicted. word. It says addicted. This is, this is like something you catch him doing. He, when would, you're be, home. he would be right now. You're he would be doing it right now. Yeah, yeah, like you're on the couch, and then you've. Th- it's been moments where you've looked over and he's watching porn. He's spending extra time in the bathroom on the toilet watching porn. Right. He's taking his phone and Thank shower you, with him he's watching porn thank no. you key explain he's sitting it in his it's... car when he gets home from work and right he's trying to figure out why he's sitting in his car for 30 45 minutes no 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 what did you say we're big booty i know <laughs> <laughs> put him on the mic it's her significant other that's why uh, i said he watching it before you he yeah, watching it after you, you be in a relationship you. with someone if you found out they were addicted to porn, you nah. really got to think okay. about it. It's Put different it than, oh, way. they like sex. I like sex. Like, right. Oh, yeah, we're, no. right. Ah, right. Right. More than that. Okay, right. If you're doing all that, I'm going to be a little irritated. Yes. Right. Like, correct. Bitch. Like, you got me fucked up. But you got to sweeten it. Let's sweeten it a little bit. Sweeten it a little bit. Besides him be ad- him being addicted to porn, he's amazing. He is the love of your life. Mm-hmm. And maybe you found that out. Maybe you found that out when you guys were um after like the dating phase. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like right. when okay. you're when you're dating, you you still have two separate lives. You're not living with each right, other right. yet, right? Yeah. Um yeah, so you're not you're not exposed to that. Until we you live. you fall in love with him, but do we He's, still have good sex? Like but, sex yeah, you still, still have good sex. Something is making him not reach that level of vulnerability to where he is keeping that. You know, it's yeah. like because it's, it's embarrassing. It's not exposed fucking weirdo. until after the fact, right? But is our sex life still healthy? Like, does he yeah, still? Yeah, you have oh, a great sex life. Yeah, then I'm okay with that because if it's not affecting what he can do with me and how he can express his intimacy, his love for me, are we able to switch up? Can we spice up? Can like, am I fully satisfied? One thousand percent. Yeah. Okay. I hate you. Implement what you learning, Bay. What right. you saw today on today's <laughs> video. What you want me to do? But if they're addicted, that's how we really go keep it spicy. Okay. I can't but if they're addicted, doing. they won't be able to do all that because before you, after you. Maybe his, it's his like stamina lunch break. top tier. <laughs> <laughs> Little 15 minute. Not no right. top tier I feel stamina. like if I'm not affected whatsoever, like if this is all some hypotheticals and we sweetening deals and shit. Mm, if, that's if, good to be If true. I'm okay yeah. with it. That's hard. Mm-mm. Maybe. Because something about that is suspect. <sighs> like, I would be like, what kind of porn he watching? Yeah, yeah. Like, kind of I don't know. I would just be like, this is kind of suspect. That's true too. Because what kind I of recently porn? learned that there are sh- some straight men that get off on just watching lesbian porn. Ooh. Same. Well, I yeah. recently learned uh, that. That's and not, I, was like, that's not I don't think that's shock. bad. That's not a yeah. shock to me. Yeah, that I think that's, that, that makes sense. Me. Mm. Men, it was, all really? Men, all men love is women and women. two women together. Like, yeah. that's, mm. that's not a shock. That mm. That's like every man's fantasy. I saw shit that most women watch lesbian porn, too. <laughs> I mean, they're curious. Okay. okay. I mean, that's me. You got me there. I think, uh, oh, God. Uh, if he, what, are you, what are your thoughts on men these days and their uh, interest in pegging? What's what? that? What's pegging? What is pegging? Oh, what? let's what? just. Wait, wait hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, um, I forgot what I was going to say. My, never mind. Proceed. <laughs> no, oh, what I was going to say. I'm See, I'm still on this addicted to porn shit because I'm like. Yeah, shit. think about Tally. 
What would you do if Tally was hella addicted? But your sex right life now. is still fire. Yeah, y'all, right, y'all are right, good, right. But he's well, first, I would need him to like know that. Know that you're addicted to porn. Like, know that sh- there acknowledge is it. something. Yeah, acknowledge it. Exactly. Are so we working on to it? You or himself? Both. 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 Yeah. For sure, he both. Has, he can acknowledge it to her, but if, if a guy won't acknowledge it to himself, then I feel like. Well, then where should I Then there's no chance. You're delusional. Problem. He's but what if denial. he's okay with being addicted? He's like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm addicted to porn. Oh. Yeah, okay, see, that's, but but then that's, that's not going to work for but me. But that's when he knows he's not, that's not an addiction. He's not seeing the, like, if we're going to talk about addiction, he's probably just looking at a hobby and he's taking the word addiction. Like, yeah, wow. whatever, like, I'm addicted to playing the game or something like that. Like, no, an addiction is a sickness if that's what we're going to, like, yeah. put yeah. the emphasis on. So if right. he's yeah. going to chalk it up like that, then he's not fully aware of the oh, word addiction. Mm-hmm. And then that's for me to explain it. A, okay, uh, sir, every morning when you wake up, when you go to the bathroom, take your morning shit. <laughs> when you, no, I'm when I leave, when I leave, yeah. yeah, no, and I will explain it to him. And if and if he is the right person that I'm going to like to be, if I'm going to stay with, then no, there needs to be a conversation about it, and you need to be open to changing there's gotta be a, intervention, yeah, there's gotta be a inter motherfucking intervention. There's got to be a compromise. Inter motherfucking intervention. You're taking a break. Go ahead, Wham. Intervention. So that's my take on it. That's oh. a that's a good one though. Yeah, mm. I feel like there's there's got to be a compromise. It kind of reminds me of that Black Mirror episode. I don't know if anybody. So seen you're it. willing to compromise in the bedroom? Oh. Compromise what? In the what's bedroom? the compromise? Not not in the bedroom. No. What are we? I think she's saying compromise, compromise. as in you can what still watch say, it, but you yeah. cannot. It's not an excessive oh, thing. Period. You can right. still period. Period. not the bedroom. Right. That's what I was the got sex, confused. The sex confused. is already good, even whether he's addicted to it or not. There's nothing to compromise. Okay, but. In that Black Mirror episode, the guy was was playing the game and he was addicted to playing that game because he was fucking his best friend in the game, right? I don't know if you guys have seen that I Black Mirror it. episode. She knows what I'm talking about. Like oh. sniping vipers or some bullshit. So they made a compromise. Now, obviously, it went from like an addiction to she let him she let him do it like twice out of the year or something on his on his birthday. So some shit like that. Like it would have to be. But would, what does she get though? I don't remember. She got to go on a date. Go out by herself and and drink while he did that. No, that's not enough. He's fucking his best friend. Not really. So no, the I know, best but friend. Like, so what it is. Him. So what it's it a- is is you're going when you play this game in the Black Mirror episode. You're going into avatars. Yeah, because it's a Black Mirror, so it's like you're yeah, going no, into an that. avatar. So he's going into an avatar as an Asian man. His best friend, who is a guy, is going into an avatar of a woman. He's now a woman in the game, and they're fucking. That's what I'm yeah. saying. So something is stimulating his mind. That's what I was saying. I know it's not like it's getting him off in that yeah. sense. Oh, I but see and I'm saying if that's what that is, you're getting off like mentally, and all I got is a little drink day. No, no right, she- right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you went for a little a cocktail, and he fucking his friend no, like she in the goes game. On a date, like she sees the guy. She's with the guy. She's with another guy. Okay. Yeah, she's. With I was like, guy. that's no. a whole other. Oh but my god! Like, does just- that even does that make him gay? I don't know. That's Absolutely. a whole different It's like a lot going yeah, on to unpack. That, right. That, that shit is. <laughs> yeah. That, it's too much to unpack here. <laughs> that shit <laughs> is different. <laughs> this is a lot to unpack oh, here. Oh, shit. Okay, okay next right. question. Last, oh, yeah, next question. Oh, shit. <laughs> last question. Yeah, last cut it because, stress. bitch, my armpits are really Fuck. spicy. Okay. Oh, next God. question. I'm ready. Make it a Next question. I have a, I have a, I have, a, I have one. But go ahead. Keith. No, you go ahead, Aaliyah. Okay. Make it good, bitch. <laughs> You're in a relationship. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Your man wants you to start sticking things up his ass. <laughs> pegging. That's pegging. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. So okay. So same question. Oh, we've had. This is a conversation we have. We have with me. Yeah. Oh. What do you do, Sammy? Sammy. The next question oh. is. Oh. Your man. Wants to try something a little different. Ooh, we're going to try something a little different uh-huh. today. I got some. I got some. We have a nice dinner, a nice date, whatever. Now we're in it, blah, 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 blah. He takes out. He reaches. Aaliyah. He, he reaches under the bed. <laughs> Aaliyah. He was like, okay, hold on. I, I got something for you. You like that? I got something for you. Please go he to take, hell. <laughs> he takes something <laughs> from under the bed and says, like, <laughs> put it in my ass, ass baby. Put it, put it in my ass. <laughs> what is that gonna wait, be? Though? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Do you guys know that the G I'm spot sweating. is in the is in their, their ass. ass? That's why I'm waiting. Okay. I'll get to my point. I'll get to my point. So no, they just take this, anything? That's the medical fact. They just take anything? And <laughs> not, I mean, not there? anything, but he takes <laughs> he takes the toy. Can you please turn the fan back? <laughs> 
I'm like, I'm getting red. And wait, I don't feel uncomfortable. Wait, he takes the toy or whatever he wants to be stuck up his booty. Please stop. And tells you to stick it. Is that okay uh-huh. with you? What, what you doing in that situation? Sammy, go first because she is stressed. Yeah, I'm, I'm stressed too, but like, go ahead. What, what you doing you? in that situation? I'm going to be like, what is that? What are you gonna stick up my butt? Like if it's no his no, butt. His. Oh his butt. He's yeah. giving it to oh, you. Yeah. He's giving it to you and wants you to stick, stick it, up it up his, his booty. For his little G spot to be stimulated. He wanna feel a little something too. Shit. Uh <gasps> damn, I don't know. But he ain't gay. Like, gay. like yeah. there's no question about it. like after y'all are <laughs> <laughs> He is not gay. He's not gay. Yeah, it's he's his G spot. That's not gay. It's his G spot. Now I have very strong opinions on it. Okay, for, go for ahead. Different I reasons. do too. But I feel like you have to reach a point. God, I hope my mom doesn't see this. Right. You have to reach a point. This is real conversation. With with, with the partner that you with, that you're with, and you feel comfortable. So I feel like if that were to happen before you, you know, say, no, oh, my God, he's gay. I can't believe he would ask me that. You would have to get to a point where you, like, explore that part of of sex with you know with someone that feels like they can trust you to be mm-hmm. to to take them okay. to that part of that level of vulnerability no i for feel a man that. okay so you're okay with that man. yeah okay you're okay with that uh, key? Uh, maybe okay uh, so no so maybe you wouldn't do the thing maybe you wouldn't do the toy but maybe you'll do like a finger or whatever finger. would you I'll eat his ass a- no no i'm not eating <laughs> shit no you're fucked shit. up jazz she said no. Why are you looking at but me? But it's nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong. I so, because I needed to look somewhere. To because, because, in the camera. Again, I think it just me- it. I think it just boils down to how comfortable you are yeah. with that person. Yeah. Is often referred to at the P spot. The P stands for prostate. The prostate yeah. is a walnut-sized gland Ooh. located just below the bladder. Uh, what is cisgender? Like a like, like where's this where's gender? cisgender? We identify as what society norm is. Um, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Cisgender men and people assigned male at birth have them. Okay. Nuts. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. It's great at producing quick and powerful orgasms, but that's not its primary function. It also aids in reproduction by producing seminal, seminal <laughs> or seminal seminal fluid and helping sperm live long and prosper. Oh God! Um, Rashad, can you tell us because I know you know. Oh my gosh! No, I don't know. You ain't seen shit. No, nothing going on in my. <laughs> I did see some shit though that guys get hard when they. Whether poop. you like it or not, that's where your G spot is. Okay. Shit, True. G spot never gonna be touched. <laughs> <laughs> I said I never gonna be stimulated. No, yeah, she's no, she's right. I think it is. Like Tally, uh, Tally has even said like it's fucking weird, but like. Right. You know, if it, that's just it, what it, it exactly. is. At the end of the day, we shouldn't science. shame men like, for feeling like. No, yeah. I don't want to shame them. We should not shame men for feeling like we can't huh. openly talk about that without them feeling like they're going to be classified okay. as, as gay. gay. Absolutely. You're not mm. gay. Okay, we all Next gay. question. Please, please, please. I'm sweating. I'm talking about anuses. Please. Please. I came back. I came back question? and y'all were like, so what would you shove up your man's ass? And I was like, okay. I will say, okay. I will say there's no judgment here. No. There is no judgment here. You like what you like. You like who you like. And just as long as you get yours, hey, that's right. it. And you don't need that's to share right. it with Do nobody. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell and, yeah. And, and, and I will, and I will say like on a serious fucking note though, like key does, key is right. Like, we are so programmed mm-hmm. to where we think asshole, like even men too. Yeah. Like it's such a, it's like a, it's a, a social thing where it's like anuses are not supposed to be da 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 da. It's and, a natural body thing. Yeah. It's and it's natural. a not, yeah. At the end of it the really day, is. it was placed there for a reason. Like yeah. you said, they didn't ask for it to be in their butt. Exactly. Right. And it's there for a fucking reason. Right. And whether we find it disgusting or we don't it's like just, that or yeah, whatever. It's just programming. That's it's all. just programming. Because if yeah. it was normalized, if it was normalized. Then we would be like, oh, yeah. Would be too. If it was exactly. something that, that society was cr- exactly. created as right. for yeah. us to openly yes. talk yep. yeah. At Absolutely. the end of the day, we are all programs. And even I was even telling them, like, there's something about <laughs> bisexual people, like real bisexual people who can really, who can love a woman the same way way that they can love a man there's mm-hmm. there's yeah. so, they're so elevated that they don't even see like what society taught us yeah Absolutely. they don't even see oh vagina da, 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 da. like yeah, it's right. just i i like being. your energy You're i like human. who you are and i can make love to you the same way that Absolutely. i can make love to an opposite sex I there's something generation. elevated about that Absolutely. Shout and out like to for space us being open, then. yeah shout out okay. to the space being open and totally. think about it for us like for us women it's like only men like we just took out 
fifty percent. I think I don't know. I don't know if if the world is divided in that way. I mean, obviously, there's probably like a direct percentage, but let's just say 50 50. Yeah. The world is fifty percent men, fifty percent women. We just took out half fifty percent of love of the fifty percent mm-hmm. of love, fifty percent of finding love. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we're so programmed, like it just has to be a man with this and with this with yeah. the penis and blah blah. blah. No, like we don't. don't even know. <laughs> so that's why sis. Okay. Yeah. That's why I think sis has she has something that we don't have that you know she's able to go to she can have both and be pleased. Mm-hmm. Is that correct? It is correct. I mean. so. <sighs> correct. So like I so like I said, no judgment here. You like what you like. Nothing is right or wrong. Just as long as you're happy, just as long as you're being pleased and you're getting there. Hell yeah. There's That's nothing wrong her. with it. You got a you got a last question, Key? Let me see. Are we not talking about sex? He anymore? said, "Just say no." No, we can so talk. Over it. Just One more, yeah, it's about something, anus. something that'll take us away from outside, this. Outside of outside of phys- physicality, mm-hmm. sexual, uh, what's define what another form of intimacy for you? Mm-hmm. Come back. Outside. That's good. Hmm. Ask the people in relationships. Ask me later. No, well, not, if, even as a single woman. No, I'm trying to think something. about it. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think. Intimacy. I'll go first. Yes, Period. Please. So. Uh, intimacy to me is being able to sit in silence. Mm. Mm. That's that. intimate. I can have that with someone that I have an emotional attachment with, if it's someone of the opposite sex, or someone that I have any sort of relationship with. Mm-hmm. If we can sit in silence and that's be, still be love, comfortable, yes, yeah. and absolutely, not, and not have to think like, is this awkward or right. oh my right. god, like why no one's talking? Like absolutely. I don't even think about it. That's like, that's yeah. a level of intimacy that I have with you that. Everyone is not able to to feel that. Yeah, love that. So wow. Really cool. wow. I never thought hmm. about it that way. That's beautiful. You know, Tally and I, Tally and I did something along the lines of that, where we were in we were in our breakthrough point, and we just needed to do that, where nobody was like explaining anything to one another. And what we had did was usually like if this was his head, we would put our heads together and kind of just stay there for a second and kind of allow ourselves to just feel whatever it is that we feel mm-hmm. you know what i mean and then like it was so weird he put his uh right hand up no his left hand up and i put my right and it's almost like we formed a prayer and then we put our another hand so it's like our hands was like his hand my hand his hand my hands you know mm-hmm. what i mean and we were kind of just staying there just for a second and i'm sure this means something it's almost like feeling your heart, feeling your breathing, and kind of just staying there for a second. And it was the weirdest shit. Like, I'm like, if anybody walked in on us right now, they would be like, what, <laughs> what the, the fuck, fuck are you original, doing? Original but it was kind of nice. And it's, no, and it was dope. along the lines of what Key was saying is just being in silence and just allowing allowing yourselves to just feel each other. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I second that. Um, I have two. Mm-hmm. I think meditating together i guess that kind of goes into sitting in silence but the whole thing of meditation like talking each other through a meditation or just getting to that like present spiritual moment moment with somebody Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. you can't you can't do that shit with anybody that is i think that is if i can get to that point with you and feel comfortable like that's such a that's such a a high level of intimacy Mm -hmm. and then this one is more of a simple thing, but laughing together. That is like my favorite thing in the world. Yes. Mm, if you yeah. can Making make each other laugh, laugh. Yeah. Like I love that. just la- a, a moment of <laughs> laughing together. Like even if I'm if or or with a friend or whoever, mom, a mom, just an intimate moment with anybody. But it's like when I'm with Nicole and like say we both have a bad day or something, we could just have an hour of just laughing and it's automatically therapeutic. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it's like it's just such a I don't know. I think that's such an intimate moment. Not everybody can make you feel that way so mm. i have a question <clears throat> so you said meditating together is like a form of intimacy for mm-hmm. you which is totally fine mm-hmm. but for me i would never want to invite anybody else into that space so what's a mm. space for you that you guard that's intimate that you keep to yourself mm. she got the questions today okay. Okay. Come back. she came good i don't 
think I have that. Jazz or and if you Sammy? don't, that's fine. I think yeah. that's something for people to explore. For people that don't have that, I think that's I something have those to spaces, ask. For sure, I, I don't. I don't have that. Where I, I can't know. let anybody. Yeah, in. Yes, like it. for me, I wouldn't want to let. I, it's like not to be rude, but like no, I that, feel that 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 moment of quiet for yeah. me, that meditating space. Like I don't need anybody else in that Same. space. Same. I feel that mm. with meditating, especially if I'm trying to channel like my dreams and, mm-hmm. and focusing on something very specific like at the end of the year I did my own little meditation and one of my friends was like oh my god let's do it together and I was like no mm-hmm. no yeah. and it's I no like tea no shade know those boundaries. I want you to be able to do that but it was just certain things are very personal for me and I feel like if I need to grow on a personal standpoint then I want to experience it by myself mm-hmm. I have no problem sharing my experiences after the fact but in the moment energy is so contagious and if we're sitting mm-hmm. here sharing and yours kind of switches because because they jumped out of their Throw meditation for whatever mm-hmm. reason you don't fucked up my my center and what i'm doing and maybe that's on me for not being able to be as centered yeah I think it's but i'm just not willing to take that it. chance yeah. because yeah. i don't it's a practice which that's kind of how i look at it right. like i can meditate every day you know what i'm saying i can meditate every day if i wanted to mm. but to have that <clears> moment <throat> to be able to have that moment with a certain somebody well you trust and, her you yeah, trust like to be able to sit there and be like i can focus on me she can focus on her we can even meditate on something together like to be able to have that moment with somebody and still be able to like be in your meditation i think is really powerful and it's something to practice like, i think it is it a is good a, a sharing standpoint i have never been able to do that because i think i'm overly protective of that and my energy but because of how cautious can, it is a, yeah it's and a when i go space. through shit like when i'm sad and things like that like that That's is a space that mm-hmm. i even with my family like it's i feel it's iffy for me but like when i'm definitely going through things i like to just take my time i don't necessarily mm-hmm. like advice because advice comes from other people's right. perspectives and their things i like my personal shit to be personal if i can share my experiences and we can mm-hmm. share in conversation afterwards and talk through it after i've come to my own decisions cool i love doing that and mm-hmm. expanding my knowledge in that sense but in the moment let me deal with me and my journey i have one last thing to say but whammy what do you think about that what do you well, think i don't of- necessarily <clears throat> think um i share meditation skills with my significant other mm-hmm. but what we do to uh reconnect and restart sometimes when we're going through it let's say uh, that's intimate would, right yeah that's mm-hmm. intimate uh we'll go let's say by the beach mm. the beach is my free place my happy mm-hmm. place my let go of everything place right so and so it is for him and he's realized that we both enjoy that so sometimes we can literally just go to the beach sit on the sand look out and just like be free be nothing mm-hmm. said of course being in silence mm-hmm. and then we just talk about we look and we, <clears throat> we reflect on what our mistakes are mm-hmm. um what has gone in the past how far we've come you know it makes mm, you re- do, that. hit that restart reflection. button reflection yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's like one. damn like why did we feel like we had to give up and start mm. going crazy yeah you know like it makes you realize it's like good that reflection yeah. is intimate as fuck yeah, yeah. Can both and we did it together yep. so i was like i think that's one of the things i hold within our relationship that i really enjoy is that we can both recognize and reflect on what how we were doing and what we could have done better yep and you know move on and move on better not just like with fucking patches everywhere and be like oh i'm not gonna ever talk about it this is my space it's like why if we're in each other's space you live with each other you know you want to grow together Mm. so you have to talk about it eventually when you're ready and usually the time when we're ready is when we're outside in a relaxing place Mm -hmm. you know by ourselves and it's just hearing the waves and just letting it go and ready not to like argue about something just not ready to, to attack yeah. right it's ready. not about being right right so it's never about being right if you're always about oh i'm right you're wrong you're just gonna be playing a little game that you're gonna get yep. sick of and it's right. like not yep. it so we just let go of the wrong right game and just get straight to it be let like okay who wants, who <coughs> wants to talk take first do you mm-hmm. want to release do i want to release and nice. then we take it from there and it's like Brand new. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Tally and I definitely that. do practice that as well. Yes. Reflection. That's a that's a ve- that's, that's a good, good one. one. <sighs> that's a good wow. One. We done hit every cut. The, the last deep. thing that I wanted to say was I want you guys to explore with ever whoever whatever partner you're you feel. Um, that you trust the most is try thinking of try manifesting while you are having sex because mm-hmm. that is something that Tally and I practice we did it more often when we were trying to manifest our place that we live in together now um, but it worked y'all we were both thinking of 
the same thing while we were having sex and that kind of was was like kind of amplifying oh, the wow. moment and amplifying the feeling because we were both thinking ooh, our place ooh, da 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 i was gonna say the fucking name but whatever <laughs> the place is called yeah. this apartment think of our apartment think of our home our home our home our home and we were like our home our home our home and he was kind of thinking of it too and it, it like made us get Ooh, to you know the climax yeah. point so it doesn't mm-hmm. always have to be like oh like physical, physical. appearance yeah. or There's like what Netflix i do that by myself on that on tv where yeah the people yeah. my best friend uh T- was T- showing me over I thanksgiving so. break and it was like the weirdest shit and like they they were like laying on the bed not touching sex. themselves it was all mental mm-hmm. and then they were having these <laughs> orgasms mm. just from their oh, wow. mental oh, stimulation yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Them. point of climax yep. yeah mm. 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 never mm. touching themselves just like just laying there that's dope. Do I don't know if I can so do that one I can that's do it when I masturbate but I haven't done it with sex I just gotta touch myself yeah I just gotta touch myself just a little bit yeah that's dope though I love that yeah so you guys practice that Um, we definitely encourage you guys who are listening and watching to practice that with your significant other or whoever that you trust Um, know that this is a safe place for you to listen and for you to start your own conversations we definitely encourage you guys to do that and you know where it's conversation is so great and this is therapeutic as well for me i don't know about mm-hmm. for you guys but just talking in an open space where we don't have to be right we all have our different perspectives and our different lenses that we see things um with but really great episode key thank you for joining us yes, today yes. safe yes. travels yes. back home jacksonville please sis yes, bring sir. her back please. Yes, sir. and uh like we said we got jazz up in the building say, say what's, what's up, up hey. hey we got sis up in the building say, say what's, what's up, up hey. hey we got a leap in the building say what's up hey we got sammy up in the building say what's up hey we got key up in the building say what's up hey thank you for these questions key you yes. really led us in a really great place Ooh, i'm like hey. damn we need to have she like some deep. We we kind of need that to you know Have like keep us steady. yeah like keep that. us steady yeah, and mm-hmm. yeah yeah we keep I want to bring in I, I want to bring in other specialists. You know, that kind of like know something about one subject and then have us talk about it. But this was wonderful. Um, Join us again here after class for our next episode. And we'll see y'all next time. Love y'all.